now, now I have a question regarding that same scene where you know Broly comes in. Why? Um, what was the reasoning behind choosing Broly as the focus for this? Oh, that's it. You guys ready for some lore? <laughs> yeah. So, oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh I got, I got all the questions lined up. Uh, okay. So the reason why it started first, Ryan, you asked, um, why did you choose? Or you didn't say that why, but you were talking about why is it at the Budokai tournament between Chichi and Goku? Why was that the moment that we started? And now, Kai, you're asking why Broly? The the f base of the film is that Broly is on an assassination attempt to kill Goku because he's lost to Goku in every form possible. He's lost him in the first movie. He's lost him in the second movie. I guess it's his son. But the third movie, let's just forget about it for a second. But he believes that if he can come to the inception of when they're supposed to be married... He can stop all this from happening because Gohan won't be born. Goku, he, none of this stuff will happen. So he comes back in time to kill Goku um, where he met Chi-Chi because they obviously wouldn't be married at that point, right? Um, yep. And I guess he could have he showed up anywhere. He would have been stronger at any time. But like that was the one that I chose. Um, and that, that answers both your questions. Why did I start at the Budokai and why is it Broly? Because the movies are actually about Broly. And if you're wondering why I even chose to do the movie... It's because in Dragon Ball Super, I guess this is exactly what you guys are talking about, but Vegeta fights like the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, you can't even remember what their names are. <laughs> the Pride but, Troopers. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're like the Popo and Topo or like those guys. Jiren, Jiren Squad. So he fights them and he's, I don't know what, man. He turns blue, he turns ultra royal or whatever. It's so sick. And he loses again. I'm like, for 25 years they've been doing this to me. I'm gonna make my own Vegeta movie now. <laughs> so, yes. And then I thought like, that, it would be oh the best. Oh my god. That was the idea. Like, who would be the best thing uh, opponent to put him against? Obviously, the best villain, Broly, right? And I thought like, it's just gonna be a fight sequence. I want to make a fight sequence where Vegeta comes out on top. But the storyteller in me, like, I can't do that. I can't just spend so much time making something that looks nice. It has to also be a story. So then I wrote a story for it. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you know, it started off as five minutes, then became six, extended to seven. And as I was, it was getting longer and longer, I'm like, you know what? If you're going to make this, it has to be exactly the movie you're going to make. So it doesn't matter if it's six minutes or if it's eight minutes, you're finishing it. So that's what led to what you're seeing there. So. That's so hard, bruh. So 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 hold on. So I just want to let, let me just collect everything here, so we could we we could all be because I'm we're because we're, you told me this last week, right? So I just want to confirm. So for those that are doubting, you just confirmed that the reason why you made Legend is because you were tired of seeing Vegeta lose. Yeah, he was treated like a punk ass. <laughs> like he, Let's yeah, go! He's always a punching bag. He, he's the, he, my friend Giuseppe, who worked on the film, he always says that Vegeta's the one who gets made example of to show how strong the enemy is. And he does every time. And he always has, like, the sickest, like, battle, uh, you know, like, the battle attitude. He's like, I'm going to rip this guy. And he gets ripped every single time in reverse. So, not this time. And, you know, they were, not, like, my crew, like, you know, when we finished the film, um, you know, they got to see it in pieces. And then when we did QC, a quality check, uh, I, we did it with a crew of like me plus four guys. and uh, But no one had seen it with sound. No one saw it all finally mixed. So the weekend before it released, I showed it all to them. Uh, and we all met up and um, uh, they clapped for me at the end. It was really nice. And they oh. said, you know, you did a good job of making a Vegeta movie showcase how good Goku is without it being about Goku. And I was so happy that they said that. And then they said, I said... You know what I'm not happy about is that doesn't the movie finish so quickly? This is 10 minutes. You know how long it took me to review this every time? And he's like, yeah, it did go by fast. I'm like, shit. He's like, no, no, that's a good thing. You don't notice how, how fast the time is going because you're enjoying it. I'm like, oh, I hope that's the case. But anyway. Wow. Yeah, see, that, that, wow. That really <laughs> makes it. That's hard. Wow. That's hard, that really made it come full circle because that, the savior from heaven, like, holy shit, man. Like, come on. That's, this is not only the Vegeta we needed, but like, you, you, you wrote it perfectly. Like, <laughs> all the way, like, from his, from his intro, his monologue when he met Broly, which I, I wanted to ask, where did you get inspiration from those lines? I didn't get it from anywhere. I just made them up. You just, you just and wrote it. 
there's another example. People are always saying, oh, there's an, uh, there's an allusion to the Majin Vegeta line where, and even you, Kakarot. I didn't I look at that scene even once, but it, it, I've loved that line. How could I not have remembered it? He's like, but it? it is now. You but the did? thing is, I didn't, I didn't remember the line, like, word for word, obviously, but I remember the scene even. I remember that there's fire going everywhere. I remember the shapes that they use. I remember there's, like, dust. There's, like, a dust layer that's, like, gold mm-hmm. dust. And he's like, I'm going to destroy, I'm going to crush you. I'm going to toss you to the wind. And he's like, and then he talks about his kids. And he's like, and even you, Kakarot. And then he does his, like, like completely meaningless destruction. <laughs> but, like, um, but yeah, so, but I love that scene so much. I remember drawing a poster about it, like, the, the day right after I saw it. I drew Vegeta in nine forms, and the poster was this big, and I spent, like, a week on it. And, um, yeah, man, like, I remember, I, I love that scene so much, but... It's, you know what, like, I never did this intentionally, and it wasn't my purpose to, like, not reference things and try to get it right, but maybe that's, like, there's something in there. If people are ever trying to make fan content, maybe that's a nice way to go about it, where, like, you just try to remember how you felt when you saw it, do your best to remember what it looked like, and then just have fun with it, you know? I can't believe I, you got us (laughs) fooled, man. I, you know how many people really thought that that was a direct reference back to that scene with Majin Buu when he you was know, fighting? Oh. It was an accident, but I, I'm glad people think that because it is now. <laughs> it is now, yes, <laughs> sir. Oh, my God. Dude, this is this is great. This is great. This is, a, this is, this is literally like uh, everything and more that I could have possibly, possibly imagined. And I knew, and I told these two, I'm like, just wait until he tells you why he made this. And y'all are going to love this guy a hundred times more. <laughs> and I mean, it's just, a. T- I mean, honestly, like it really just, it is, it is just like Kai said, like it brings it all full circle. Like, like th- this is the full package. Like you, <laughs> this is not, even, this, dude, this is the whole Amazon warehouse. This is not just a full <laughs> package. Okay. Like this is crazy. <laughs> Like that is that is one of the most rawest reasons to go four years out of your way to just be like, I'm sick of this. I'm gonna make it better. But again, it's a love letter, right? Absolutely. It's a love letter. Oh, that's that good shit. 